Hello there Aries, welcome to my channel. I am the Soul Teacher and I'm here today to do a new reading with you. Um, it's called Death. So the reason why I'm doing this is I have been doing a lot of shadow work readings and um, just now I finished all the waxing moon um, phase readings for the 20th of April and the theme of releasing and dying energy and all of these things really came up because we are going towards this full moon in Scorpio which is all about death and rebirth so I decided to do this reading for you today um, this is a timeless reading so if you do come across this um, at a later stage obviously after 27 April 2021 um, please go ahead and, and finish the reading because there is obviously some kind of message in there for you. So Aries, let's see. What energy needs to do? Oh, I forgot I'm not doing that anymore. <laughs> it just takes a bit of bit too much time. So I'm now laying out the spreads and then as we go, I tell you exactly what everything is about. Okay, so with this one, one, two, three, four, five, yeah. And then six is the advice. I decided to do the advice with um, the angel cards. Okay, so there's your advice, Aries. Okay, so let's see, I'm using a brand new um, deck today. It's called the Mythic Oracle and it's gorgeous. It's absolutely beautiful, it's magical. Right, so Aries, what energy needs to die in your life? And we have Themis Natural Order. Okay, so what I'm getting from this is, um, I don't know this deck very well, so I'm just quickly going to scan through it. I know what I'm feeling with it, the message. Oh, no, I don't know, yeah, justice is balanced. Um, Themis is the goddess of natural order and justice. The daughter of Gaia and Uranus, she's known for her wisdom and acts as counsel to Zeus. Um, Themis governs the law of nature. That's not really what I'm looking for. Order can take hard work and focus, but it is necessary. It is time to look at all the aspects of your life on both inner and outer levels and face them head on. Okay, what I'm feeling about this card is because this is the energy that needs to die in your life. I feel that you've been looking for justice and balance in the wrong places in your life and that you've been working towards the wrong energies in your life in order to create justice and balance. And I feel that this is the energy that needs to die. You have been focusing on the wrong thing. Okay, so let's see where this goes. What reborn energy is waiting to enter your life? Wow. Bellerophon. Humility. And it's interesting because what needs to die is a number 10 which is the new beginning and what needs to um, be reborn is 45 which comes to a nine which is an ending which is really really interesting aries humility okay so humility is all about you need to um what is the word i'm looking for you need to surrender to the fact that you might have been looking at justice and balance in the wrong places. Sorry, <laughs> I need to stop the video. What I was about to say is you need to be humble enough to be able to say, hey, I was looking for balance in the wrong place or I was trying to balance my life out um, in the wrong ways. But you must be humble enough in yourself as well as the people involved in your life. And that is not an easy thing to do, Aries. Right, so let's go on and see why is it necessary for this energy to die? Come on. Wow. And it's Pandora, which is hope. 34 comes to a seven, which is the number of divinity. So, Aries, you need to be humble enough to um, express this to yourself and to admit this to yourself and to other people 
because this needs to die so that you can have hope in regaining that divine balance that you are actually looking for. Wow, this is quite powerful. How will this dying energy influence your life? Wow. Eos, new beginnings. And this is 13, which comes to a four, which is new foundations, solid new foundations. That's why this energy needs to die, Aries, because your foundation is not solid and strong. How will this reborn energy influence your life? Oh my goodness, Zeus, divine expansion. Wow. And this is a 14, which comes to a five, which is change. It's going to change your whole life, Aries. It's going to change your whole life. This is absolutely awesome. Your advice. Wow. The miracle of forgiveness. Archangel Jeremiel. Thank you, Jeremiel, for helping me understand the process of forgiveness. You need to forgive yourself in this regard, Aries. You need to forgive yourself for not being or not looking for the balance in the right places. This is very, very awesome. Wow, Aries, I hope this helped and I'll speak to you again soon. Take care.